Hi everyone, hope you're all well. It's a very nice sunny day. Prince Regent's Lane we're on, we're just leaving. <clears throat> and we're going down the steps of St Andrew's Road. Sorry I've not been online much lately, or for the last few days. As you know there's been a lot going on. Yeah. My dad was in hospital, he's home now. Uh, back to his old self. Um, Neighbour, house fire and whatnot. She's been put on a ward now and she won't be going back to her place. So they just need to find out what to do with her. Uh, other than breathing in a lot of smoke, having a sore throat and pretty dodgy feeling chest and a very, very minor burn on my hand. For, oh, just that there. I got off pretty lightly. So did she. Not that she acknowledges it, bless her, but there we are. Something I've discovered over the last couple of days is no matter how nice you are to some people, they will still talk to you or treat you like shit. So. Leave them to their own devices and good luck to them. <coughs> I've got quite a lot of content to upload, so I'll start seeing to that. Um, a couple of people have asked me about walking down Lydon Road, so this is what this one's going to be St Andrew's Road to. Uh, St. James and St. Philip's Church, but we'll take in Lydon Road and bits of the Barking Road and stuff. So, yeah. As I say, it's a really, really warm day today. There's that lovely church, St. Andrew's. Looking back from where we've come from. <coughs> Prince Regent's Lane. I walk in the road because... There's, no, there's people coming on the pavement. How's everyone doing? Hope you're all well. And a massive, massive thank you for all your lovely uh, messages and comments and that. It really does mean a lot. Sorry if I've been a bit lax with my replies and stuff, but if I'm brutally honest with you, I'm not feeling myself. Anyway. South West Ham Labour Club and Institute. We'll get back in the shade on the pavement now because there's no one about. This one's just to sort of get things started back off on the page. Say a hello and a massive thanks to everyone. really did mean a lot your messages and everything I do mean that it's the lovely vicarage house well, that's really nice that that's the UCKG church which is open quite late and quite a lot so coming up to the Barking Road now. <clears throat> this is a said it's St Andrews Road. Nice little old houses and stuff along here. Many of you uh, old Plastovians and that would have made this journey. I was going to film because at the hospital they've connected the hospital car park to the Surbank or Greenway as it's now called with a path I was going to film that but there was a lot of people about and certain things going on at the hospital so I didn't do that one today no, we're coming out onto the Barking Road now up that way towards the Green Gate and up this way towards Blaster I'll just point you up a minute because someone coming along yeah this way towards Plasto. 
there you've got the old Plasto Community Church and for anyone that doesn't know Saint my sister told me the little Iceland's here is uh, it's closing down soon I'll take you to the old police station which is pretty much redundant nowadays as a police station uh, <clears throat> Very warm today. Lydon Road is just over here, so we will go back on ourselves and whatnot. This is the little license, it's going to be closing down. Because you've got a bigger, a bigger license at the Abbey Arms area, one in Canning Town, so quite what this will become, I don't know. We've got the uh, Plasto Community Memorial Church coming up the one with the two domed towers it's what I keep meaning to do it's pretty much on my doorstep but I'll have to get round to it main thing I want to see in there is the uh, the bell towers because <coughs> they, they I don't know if it's still there but they, they used to have a bell organ years ago which is like uh little bells with ropes and handles that go down and you play it kind of thing so whether it's still there or not we don't know but what we're going to see now is a new build coming up this is where the old uh, car garage was on the left car washing and then sold cars and stuff but yeah this new this went up very very quickly as most of the new builds do nowadays so I'll get to the police station and show you the community church then we'll go back on ourselves and go to uh, this is called Ron Newton House this now this lot <clears throat> and we'll go back on ourselves and go to Lytton Road Police station closed down now. They've got these big super mega police stations and they've closed all the little ones down. King Hoist PLC Group. Chuck knows what goes on in there. I'll just point you up a minute because someone's coming along. But this is the community church here. We'll be going back on ourselves in a minute as well, so just there is the Abbey Arms pub, which I've already covered. But this is the community church or memorial church. It's a nice old building, Edwardian era. Um, yeah. What more can you say about it really? go back on ourselves and do the Lydon Road one now for the few people that asked and um, when this one goes on to Memories of Plasto and beyond massive thank you to Chris and Terry like for the lovely post and for to all of you who commented for your lovely comments and stuff and for the messages people have sent me it really does mean a lot Sorry if I don't sound my usual self at the moment. It's nothing any of you guys or girls have done, or ladies or gents have done, but yeah. As I say, a lot's gone on and uh, yeah, it's all sinking in really. And then when you do try to be nice to people and you get treated pretty poorly, it's not nice, is it? But it will not be happening again. I think uh, someone said to me, emotional distance is the only key to dealing with some people, isn't it? Uh, it's 
what I said to my mate and my mate said to me yeah it's true I went it takes a lot to uh, make me feel like that so if, if someone does it you've tried very hard Over the zebra crossing, and when we're going down Lydon Road now, the old post box is still there. I'll just point you up a minute, and yeah, as I say, the little license is going to go, so I don't know what they're going to turn that into. Just there on the corner, I've said about it before, just there. There's a, a little old cottage that was like a solicitor's place or something for years and then <clears throat> it got knocked down and they've put a new build there in its place. Now we're going down good old Lydon Road. I know this one well because I lived here for quite some years. hasn't changed too much over the years we didn't road coming up on the left is a house where uh, a woman called Lil used to live and a lot of local people knew her as mad Lil she was the most die-hard royalist you have ever met she was in the paper a couple of times for all her royalist stuff in the windows but she was also one of the most die-hard racists you could ever be I mean, to the level where it, it became ugly at times. It's like, oh, she's only about five foot tall. She didn't care what she said to anyone. And this was her house, which has been all done up now. She's passed on to, to other realms. Round tree, Clifford Close. Looking back down Lydon in a minute, which we'll do in a sec. Oh, yes. Looking back down at Lydon, for anyone that wants to hark back on some old memories, our, lo our location is uh, St Philip's and St James Church, not going to tour the church we'll just head to the outside of it it's another one I mean to cover and I've been putting it off because my nan's funeral was there so I'll probably do it soonish we'll be coming out onto um, Balaam Street in a minute You've still got the hill that goes up onto the greenway and everything over that way. Yeah. Should be about 20 minutes this one. Not in date order because I'll put this one on first and then I'll start with the uh, content that I've got built up on my phone, which is a lot of Manor Park, Forest Gate, things like that. And that lovely little Picture box church, Little Ilford, St Mary the Virgin, Little Ilford, a lovely little church. So I'm just going to pause you a sec while we cross, wait to cross over. There we go. We are now crossed over and onto Grange Road. I know what it is, I'm just looking for a street sign to reinstate what I've just said, Grange Road. The area has lots of um, little piles of rubbish dumped everywhere, which is, is nice. Oh, it's really warm. To my health.
Let's point you up a minute because uh, someone's coming along. These are all these new builds that I was saying about. You know where the Sultan was, the Sultan pub? That was just where that lot is. That we'll be tracking round onto Meredith Street. And uh, the church will be our port of call. I shall call it a day for that one. As I said, this is mainly just to catch up, get things going on the page, but mainly and mostly to say a massive big thank you to you all on my own page, Memories of Plasto and Beyond, my TikTok page. I've had a lot of lovely messages from people, often quite frightened to open my TikTok messages because we've had some pretty out there ones in the past, but... Once you sift through those, there were some pretty, some pretty nice ones. And the thing is as well, like so many people said, oh, what a hero and heroic. It's not heroic, just hopefully what anyone would do. Well, I fucking hope so anyway. And there's our port of call at the end there, which is the church. So we'll cross over out of the sunlight. We're on Meredith Street now. Lovely summer weather. <clears throat> More. Oh, yeah. More rubbish. We've got a big pile of it dumped in my own street. As I say, newer myths was like in a lot of areas. I've seen it even in Rye, where I go to on holiday. Now, if I had any back teeth left at the top, my high teeth, I would I would give those teeth to be sitting on the beach somewhere, not especially rye, but my nanu, my nanu was uh, fairly religious, I'm pointing you down a minute, as I say his funeral was at this church we're going to be looking at, um, one of her favourite sayings basically was, one of her favourite sayings was basically God never sends us things he thinks he can't we can't bear. But, well certainly trying me at the moment, mister. Uh, that's just maybe. Anyway, yeah, this is the church of uh, St. Philip's and St. James. Which for me holds some pretty um well very um pleasant memory. Which is why I will cover it very soon, because not being in the best of moods at the moment. It's best to get these things over and done with like that. Hopefully when I'm feeling more myself, I can uh, crack back on or see where we're going from there. But yeah, that's our end. Our end call for the day, Church of St. Philip's and St. James. I will cover it soon. There's something absolutely beautiful on the other side of it, which I'll cover for when we tour the church. So, hope you all enjoyed our little stroll. As I say, a massive thank you to every single one of you. Sorry to keep repeating myself, but it was so lovely of you all. Thank you all. God bless and keep safe. And we'll be seeing each other again soon. <laughs>